بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو سال آر خان یوٹیوب چینل کنٹینگ دا ٹاپک آف بائی پولر جنکشن ٹرانزسٹر وی سی دا ورکنگ پرنسپل رائٹ یس لیٹ می گیو دی ہیڈنگ سو دی ورکنگ پرنسپل آف وٹ لیٹ سے آئی ایم ڈوئنگ بوتھ آف دیم فسٹ ورکنگ پرنسپل آف اے پی این پی ٹرانزسٹر And in the next video, I will do an NPN transistor. This is only for an understanding purpose. For the rest of the videos, I will not do NPN and PNP sideways. Right? Yes. So, let's get to the PNP transistor. What do we have? We have a P-type material. This is your emitter terminal. Emitter it is. Right? This is P-type which is a highly doped so plus then you have what then you have your base your base is an n type which would be lightly dropped or is moderately doped right and then again you have your collector region so this is again a p type fine now the p type has what the majority carriers are the holes majority carriers are the holes over here the majority carriers are the electrons similarly over here you have holes but the doping is less the doping concentration is less now what do we do i told you you have an emitter based junction you have a collector based junction we will be mostly interested in the amplification action of the transistor so for that we would have to forward bias the emitter base junction and reverse bias the collector base junction so let's say we do it we forward bias this so for forward biasing what do you have the p side will be connected to the positive terminal of the battery the n side would be connected to the negative terminal of the battery and this polarity is let's say known as VEE -E because this is applied to the emitter terminal VEE -E. so you, your main name is a VEB because it's the polarity between the, dif the difference between the emitter and the base so that's one in the same thing let's say we go with the notation of the book similarly you would have to reverse bias this one so in order to reverse bias the n side has to be connected to the positive terminal of the battery the p side to be connected to the negative terminal of the battery and this collector base junction has been reverse biased and the rest thing you know you know the rest thing forward bias diode what will happen width of depletion region will decrease the current would flow rapidly after the barrier potential has been achieved the reverse bias diode what would happen the current will not flow why because the width of the depletion region has increased the barrier potential has increased only minority charge carrier current would flow yes yes so let's say we get to it a uh, stepwise due to this forward biasing potential majority carriers from the p will move to the n side have a look vee would imply what vee -E. this would imply that you have this positive will, would repel these holes right so these holes will move from p to the n side from p to n side right these holes so now when they have entered this 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 region they can either come toward this negative terminal of the battery or they could go further to the to the to that side right so you've got three possibilities number one possibility is when this hole is repelled by this positive positive polarity what do you have the first thing is and it enters this base region and recombines with the electrons enters base which is n type and recombine this is the first the first possibility the second possibility is that it may be it may come to this side is attracted by the negative polarity attracted by negative polarity of what of the same VEE 
or the third possibility is that as the width of the base is very thin and the doping concentration is also very less so the number of charge carriers the number of electrons over there are less so it may directly surpass it due to high velocity and directly move into the collector region surpass surpass the base region and enter the collector region so these are the three possibilities that could most probably happen for this hole right yes okay okay so what do we have next what do we have next is uh, we talked about the forward bias diode let me name these terminals basically this is the emitter terminal this one is the base terminal and this one is the collector terminal right and I did not mention a VCC over here or have I removed it at some point okay so this was for the forward bust let's say we have as we take the book as well so that we may read out the points we may read out the points what am I missing? The operation of the NPN transistor is exactly the same role with this forward bias diode. The depletion region has been reduced in width due to applied bias and this and that. Both biasing potentials have been implied. The width of the depletion region, this and that. So we know this. The question is, we've already, we already know this. The magnitude of the base current is typically in the order of micro amperes. So this, this would be the base current that attracted by the negative portion of this so this would be the base current which is in micro amperes or the nano amperes and this one is the collector current or the emitter current this one is the collector current right the larger number of these majority carriers will be fused into the reverse bias junction of the p-type material collector terminal and this and that so it's done we don't have anything we don't have anything this one would give you the base current this one would give you the base current that would be i b and this is in the range of micro amperes or nano amperes similarly this one is your collector current collector current and this one is in the range of milliampere so overall that you have this was due to the emitter this was due to the emitter that is your ie so ie this is equal to the sum of and what is this ie so this is flowing in this direction this one is your ie this one would be your ib and similarly IC is flowing in that direction as well so this one is your IC so which means that IE is the base current IB plus IC right yes so this is what the book has written that is all about it so this was for the forward biased emitter base junction this was for the forward biased emitter base junction emitter base junction now the next is the next is you also need to uh, take the reverse biased collector base junction into consideration so for that what do we have so let's see so now what we do is this negative is connected to the p side positive is connected to the n side what would happen this negative would attract these electrons this positive would attract this hole the the depletion region would further wider only the minority charge carrier current would be there that is over here you have minority charge carriers are electrons over here the minority charge carriers are holes so you only have only minority charge carrier current exists right yes and in that case this we call is the icbo icbo right uh, comprise uh, the the collector current however combines two components the majority and minority carrier the minority current is called the leakage current and is given by ico so ic this is due to this right so ic is equal to i c plus icbo 
ICO or ICBO what is this let me check it is ICO ICO now I am telling you the meaning of this I see this is a majority current the, the normal this IC current that we talked about uh, and the next the ICO is due to the minority charge carrier and this O stands for the other terminal open circuited when the emitter is open circuited so for this you would have to remove this supply only then you have a simple reverse bias diode and you have the minority charge current flowing over here so i think this video is very short and i'm getting very bored in this shorter video for general purpose transistors ic is measured in milliamperes and ico is measured in microamperes or nanoamperes is the reverse bias diode and this is temperature sensitive right and must be extremely carefully with white temperature and this and that and it could it could be such less that this could also be ignored anyways you know all these things uh, very well than me so this is the minority charge carrier current and this you know very well that this is temperature sensitive which means that it would double for every 10 degrees rise in temperature so this is a temperature sensitive one let me see if I have any point over here is that I don't have any point I don't have any point now the base current you could also understand it in this fashion that if you have got the recombination over here so what do you have you would have the less number of electrons the electrons numbers have what have decreased so this negative portion this negative polarity could 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 supply you more electrons in order to give you that lost electrons in the recombination process so the electrons will be provided in this direction so the base current is in the downward direction right yes so uh, okay so say 100 electrons were coming from here so what is 100 holes were coming from here so 10 recombined over here and 90 moved into the collector so these 10 electrons are provided by this battery in this direction right so in this direction in this so ib1 is in the downward direction okay and similarly you have uh, now I see is alpha times IE I see is alpha times IE one other point I see is alpha times IE I see is alpha times IE now how have I written this? So I have written this that the base current is very small because most of the holes have directly got into the collector side. So how is this? So IB I have just removed and IE is approximately equal to IC but this is exactly equal to alpha times IE. Now this alpha is what this is the forward current gain. This is the forward current gain. And this basically represents, this basically tells you about is that what fraction of emitter current is flowing through the collector. What fraction of emitter current, what fraction of emitter current is flowing through collector. This alpha is the forward current gain which means what what factor of the emitter current the total emitter current how much of that has came into the collector region right so which means a very high value of that has came a very small amount of that has got into the base so which means the alpha has got a value somewhere that is between 0.95 to 0.98 which means that 95 to 98 percent of the current that that arise that arise from the emitter region has reached the collector and the 2 to 5 percent that has gone through the base yes yes so this is it so alpha you calculate you can uh, in mathematical example sometimes this would be wanted so alpha would come out to be ic 
upon IE. This is how you calculate it. So I believe that I should finish this video over here. This was a very boring video for me. For me it was boring. So I don't know why. Maybe I have not got uh, uh, preparation for this. Maybe. Or uh, I don't know why. So anyways, let's make the next one uh, a little interest. Yes. Let's see the working of an NPN transistor in the next video. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.